I saw the jeep outside. The next time you borrow it for unofficial business, you're out of here. Sorry, I didn't have time to get your permission. No, I don't imagine that you did. You were too busy running around with your little blonde friend. So, what have you done with her? I haven't done anything, but she ran off. Ran off? That doesn't speak very well for you, does it, Chad? Is that what all your women do, run off? I only hope she didn't run off into the jungle. Yes, yeah, exactly where she went to. It's gonna get dark soon. But if she's out there and you're so very concerned, what are you doing in here? I came back for a flashlight, some kind of a weapon, see if I could round up somebody to help me find her. Hmm. You, got, you got any suggestions? Oh, now I am supposed to help you organize a search party for her. Why? I don't know who she is. What does she mean to you? Why did she come here, huh? Where's she from? You have to know all those things before you can help somebody? Yeah. I need to know an answer to a few of them, yeah. Yeah, well, the hell with it. I'll find her myself. Uh, no, Chance, I don't think so. I'm hanging on to these keys until I get a few answers that satisfy me. So, how do I look, huh? Well, what happened to the uh, dress Gina designed for you? Oh, darling. Well, at least you should have tried it on. I did. I'm supposed to be your wife, not a call girl. Well, uh, wives can get away with looking like call girls. Well, besides, I want to impress your father, and that's definitely not the kind of dress he would approve of. Well, if you know what my father does and doesn't approve of, you are doing a hell of a lot better than I am. Uh, well, I don't want to take any chances. Oh, come on, honey, you must be a little happy that he's coming here. Uh, yes and no. I'm sure that he's looking very forward to being here. That if I uh, win the election by popular vote, after all, I was simply... Uh, appointed to the office before, and I'm sure he sees this as a, uh, well, a highlight in my political career, to say nothing of uh, probably my personal life. Well, it is a high point, and I think both of us have every right to be very proud of it. Yeah, well, I don't think we should be premature about it. I mean, if I lose this election, even by a very narrow margin, I'm not sure what my father will do. And it, it's not a sure thing. I mean, Mason, even though he carries on the way he does, still has a very important name here in Santa Barbara. Sweetheart, stop worrying. You're going to win this thing. I can feel it. Hey, well, let's, let's not jinx it by talking about it. I won't say another word. But believe me when I tell you that nothing can go wrong for us now. I won't let it. Our life is going to be better than it ever has been before. We're starting a, a whole new chapter. Maybe even a new book. Do you think he's... No, he's fine. His pulse is good and strong. He's just going to be out for a while. Well, the longer the better. We've got to come up with something. What are we going to say when he comes to? Tell him you slipped and hit him with a law book. I did. No. Uh, no. I'll say that he slipped and he fell. Somehow I think he'll remember that that didn't happen. Well, maybe he'll wake up with amnesia. Please, God. I don't think we should count on that either, All right, then let's just take him back to Sasha's. We'll just say that he had a seizure on the floor here, and, and when he wakes up in his own... Darling, bed, face it. Whenever Tanel wakes up, he's going to remember what happened and who did it to him. And what's worse, he's going to be fighting mad and looking for a way to get even. And what's worse than that, he's going to find one. Oh, God, get him off me. Mm. What have I done? What have I done? I didn't mean to do it. I really didn't. So something came over me, and I couldn't help myself, and I... I, I I'm sure that you had every justification. Now, we can't worry about what could have been. We've got to worry about now and what the hell we're going to do. We've got a big problem on our hands, and it's more literal than figurative right now. Who's that? Who's that? I don't... James, work for Mr. Tunnell? Is he here? chance. I have gone to bat for you many times now, with Aristides, with Arturo, and I seem to remember vaguely a few occasions that made us more than friends. Don't you think I deserve some kind of explanation here? Don't worry about it, chance. I am not a jealous woman. I just want to know what's going on. When I first met you, I figured that you were either 
Running from the law or from a broken heart? Is that what it is, Chance? Is it your heart that is breaking? Is that the little girl who broke it? Huh? No, you got it all wrong. She's a stupid little rich brat. She means nothing to me except the problem that I have to solve. Now, I didn't want her to come down here, but she did. I can't very well just let her go out there and get eaten alive, can I? Would you? Well, I would feed her to the jackal personally. But then, I am not the sweet, soft heart that you are. Go ahead. Play Galahad. Thanks. You want me to help you look for her? Hmm? No, I don't want anything to happen to you either. Look, you, you were asking for help a minute ago, and now I am offering it. Forget about it, all right? Just stay here. As soon as I find her, I will come back to you. I promise. Promise? Go. Oh. Just be careful, huh, Chance? I don't want you feeding any wild animals. I hope you find her. Um, I'll pick your father up at the airport, so why don't you get a cab and I'll meet you at the lair, okay? And, and try and be early, because the photographers are going to want lots of pictures of you. All right, just make sure that you both get there to hear my speech. Do you think I would miss that? <laughs> I love you. I love you. Drive carefully. Listen, stop worrying. You're a winner. <laughs> yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I accept this vote as more than just a simple consensus of popularity, but as a mandate to restore the probity to an office which is not, 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 not probity uh, rectitude yet. Oh, that's even worse. To rest integrity. I, I accept this as a mandate to restore integrity to an office which for, well, for too long has served the private ends of public officials. Yeah, here we got it. You just do it off the top of your head. You're much uh, better with improvisation. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, I'd, li I'd like to order a cab. Uh, yeah, I'd like a... Just a second. Just a second. Hello, Mr. Asher? Yeah. The uh, car is waiting to take you and Mrs. Asher to the lair. Well, I, I didn't order a car. As a matter of fact, I come from the phone getting a cab. Oh, the uh, limousine is courtesy of Miss Gina Timmons. I'll be damned. Yeah, just saying. Um, yeah, cancel that uh, that cab. Oh. Ready to go. What do we do? Stall her. Coming! Hello? Hi, can I help you? I'm looking for Mr. Tunnell. Oh, well, uh, Mr. Tunnell and my husband went for a walk on the beach. Why don't you go look for them? I think they went north, or maybe south. No, I don't think I'll disturb him. You mind if I wait in here until he comes back? In here? At my house? Um, fine. Uh, come in. I'm so sorry. Please come in. In fact, you might be able to help me with something. Yeah? How's that? Well, I've been looking for five minutes in this day so that I could just take a shower and get freshened up and everything. And my daughter is sick. She's got the mumps or she's got the chicken pox or something. And, and she's not feeling very well. And when you leave her alone, she gets cranky. And if you could just sit with her for a little while, I maybe could just wash my hair, condition it, just relax a second, and I'll go get her. Look, I, I think I'd better wait outside. Oh, really? Why? Well, the thing is, I'm not sure I ever had the mumps. And uh, since you don't even know if mumps is what she's got... Well, you understand what I'm saying, oh, don't you? Oh, of course I do. It, it probably isn't very safe at all. I mean, it'd be very dangerous for you to come in here if you catch the mumps now, if you haven't had it before. Yeah, it would. I see. Okay. Hello, darling. Hi. Uh, this man is looking for Mr. Tunnell, and I said that you and Mr. Tunnell took a walk on the beach. Well, that's right. We did. You just missed him. He's gone. He's gone? How could he be gone? His car's parked right outside. Oh, uh, well, he just drove away. See for yourself. Well, I'll be darned. I didn't even hear it. You happen to know where he went? Didn't say anything to me. Sorry. Okay. Thanks. And thanks, lady. Sorry about your kid. Well, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> what did you tell him? I told him that Samantha had the mumps and that he should come in and sit with her. Thank okay. you. Okay. Where's, where's to know? I disposed of him. You what? I said disposed, not dismembered. I put him on the bed, and then I went out the back way and moved his car, just in time, apparently. Okay, that's one crisis down. How many more to go? Damn divine. 
dem Minengelände. Gar nichts. Ich habe mich verirrt. Ganz einfach. Sie haben sich verirrt. Hier auf dem Minengelände. Das glauben Sie doch selbst nicht. Wie sind Sie hierher gekommen? Ich bin mit dem Zug gekommen. Sehr komisch. Wer hat Sie geschickt? Wie heißen Sie? Sie haben kein Recht, mich auszufragen. Oder sind Sie von der Polizei? Jetzt hören Sie mal gut zu. Ich stelle hier die Fragen. Was wollen Sie in El Diabolo? Ich bin Tourist. Vielleicht sollten Sie hier in Zukunft ein paar Wegweiser aufstellen, damit die Leute wissen, wo Sie sich befinden. Ich meine, ich habe mich schlicht und einfach verirrt. Und ich blute. Hey! Hey, sehen Sie mich an, wenn ich rede! Das Minengelände ist Privatbesitz. Haben Sie die Schilder nicht gesehen? Sie hätten erschossen werden können. Und jetzt sagen Sie mir, was Sie hier wollen. Was ist hier los? Diese Frau hier war unbefugt auf dem Minengelände. Sie weigert sich mir zu sagen, wer sie ist und was sie hier will. Ich sagte Ihnen doch, ich bin ein Tourist. Und ich sage Ihnen, Sie lügen. Was Sie hier tun, ist ungesetzlich. Sie haben kein Recht, mich hier festzuhalten. Ich bin Amerikanerin. Vielleicht sollte ich lieber mit ihr reden. Freiwillig sagt die gar nicht. Ich sagte, ich rede mit ihr. Hast du kapiert? Vielleicht fällt es ihr leichter, mit einer Frau zu reden. Du kannst jetzt gehen. Na los. Die Wunde an Ihrem Arm sieht nicht besonders gut aus. Sie sollten sie sicherheitshalber desinfizieren. Das halt wahrscheinlich auch so. Ich würde das Risiko nicht eingehen. Infektionen können gefährlich werden in dieser Gegend. Und das nächste Krankenhaus ist ziemlich weit weg. Ja, ich weiß. Sie sind eine... eine Freundin von Chance, oder? Ich kenne ihn. Ja. Was meinen Sie? Sind Sie eine gute Freundin? Oder eine alte Freundin? Ich meine, eine Freundin müssen Sie schon sein, weil er darauf bestanden hat, Sie zu suchen. Sie können es mir ruhig sagen. Ich werde Ihnen gar nichts sagen. Ich will mit meinem Konsulat reden oder mit Chance, aber Aha. nicht mit Ihnen. Sie wollen. Wissen Sie, ich finde es außerordentlich interessant, was Sie hier so alles wollen. Sie sind hier in einem fremden Land, Lady. Und Sie wissen nicht einmal, ob es ein gastfreundliches Land ist. Vielleicht. Vielleicht sollten Sie versuchen, etwas höflicher zu sein. Ich bin ein höflicher Mensch, aber ich werde nicht gerne rumkommandiert. Holen Sie Chance her, ich werde mit ihm reden. Oh ja, das würde ich sehr gerne tun, aber ich sagte Ihnen doch, Chance ist in der Wüste und sucht nach Ihnen. Also, werden wir zwei hier leider auf ihn warten müssen. Und das kann dauern. You expecting someone? Or may I join you? You may join me. Thank you. Yeah, you look very nice. Thank you. I want to look my best when I exercise my constitutional rights and I vote in that election. Very important election. Who did you vote for, dare I ask? Ethan Asher, of course. You voted against yourself. Oh, give me a break, please. Don't start me. Mason's campaign has been ridiculous from beginning to end. You know it as well as I do. I want somebody serious and capable in that office. The only thing Mason has got to offer is his name, the Capwell name. I don't think it would be very disappointed if he loses because he wasn't very determined in the campaign. You're right. The DA should want the job, should want to serve. And Mason wants to serve as himself. Have you voted? I voted this morning. I suppose you voted for Mason, family loyalty and all that. I'm not telling you who I voted for. <laughs> I'll tell you how I voted in the propositions, but the rest is privileged information. You're full of privileged information. Look, my dear, we spent a glorious evening together and have yet to find out how you feel in retrospect. Well, it's not because I haven't told you. I feel wonderful. It was great, in or out of retrospect. But how come it hasn't changed things between us, hmm? Well, I think maybe it has. It's just a very subtle change, too subtle for you. You see, I'm trying to live my life now one day at a time. All uh, right. How about today? Can we take today and maybe celebrate the victory party together at the lair? Ethan Asher's victory party? That's what I'm talking about. What, does that make you uh, grit your teeth or something? No. No, I'll be glad to go with you. I think it's important that uh, we show the world that Capwells can be on the losing side and we can lose with grace. You also know how to gloat. Can I pick you up at eight?
You didn't have to pick me up. The limo was just for you and Laura. Yeah, it's very thoughtful of you, but actually, she went to the airport to pick up my father. She'll drive over in the car. I didn't even think about that. I thought he'd just take a cab and meet us at the party. Well, Laura thought it would be uh, better like that. No, she's right. She's always right about those sorts of things. <laughs> I really am excited to meet the famous Patrick Asher. He was a very popular man. <laughs> How long has it been since you've seen him? Quite a while, several months. You two are close, though, aren't you? Close isn't quite what you get to my father. I would say that we have a very good working relationship. He's, uh, he's a dynamo and a workhorse. And, uh, see, he doesn't have uh, time for these slower emotions. <laughs> so You'll like him, though. He's got a lot of charm. He's very good with the women. He's also very good with babies. <laughs> He's even managed to win over a child, a child in his own family every now and then. And, uh, you know, I'm very glad you've, uh, you've been here. You've been such a, a good friend during this campaign. I'm glad you consider me a friend. I think about you in uh, a lot of different ways at a lot of different times. Maybe we should put on the radio and see if there's any results. The exit polls are so overwhelmingly in favor of Ethan Asher that he has already been declared the unofficial winner. You won! You did it! City, considering the lack of substantial issues in this year's campaign. I knew it. Oh, you did? Well, I wasn't so certain. I think it's wonderful. It's going to be a great night. We're here, Mr. Asher. We're here. I know. I'm almost sorry. I'm sorry. If we had uh, met a long time ago, maybe uh, things would have been different, but. Uh, now there's nowhere for them to go. I know. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I'm the one that should be apologizing. No, it wasn't. I, uh... I think I just... In the excitement of the moment, I think I just acted irresponsibly. I mean, I've... so enjoyed your company and uh, responded to your encouragement. I think that, uh... Maybe, uh... Maybe I've led you on in ways I shouldn't have. And, uh, if that's true, I'm sorry. Hey, it was just a kiss. You didn't commit a capital crime or anything. Look, I know how important your political career is to you. Not to mention your marriage. Yes, I will. My marriage is important to me. Laura and I have been friends a long time. I hate to lose the friendship. Well, and I've had problems, and, um... Well, we've made a commitment to our marriage, and, uh... I just I couldn't abandon that. It's all right. Look, you don't have to explain, really. Oh, why don't you just go inside? I'll tell the driver to drive around the block a couple of times, and I'll be in in a few minutes. I mean, Laura might already be there with your father. A very understanding woman. Well, whatever I am. Your friendship means a lot to me. And to Brandon. And I don't want to do anything to jeopardize that for either one of us. Nothing is going to change. If ever you need me, I'm there. I guess I'll just have to try not to need you too much. We've got our blood test taken now, and we're almost there. Seems like everything is happening so fast. It can't move fast enough for me. Mm. 
You know what? What? Pretty soon we're not going to have to rush. Because we're going to have all the time in the world. Sophia. Hi. Sophia. Hi. What, uh, what is that you're hiding from me? Um, Emily and I had our blood test taken today. I see. Ah. Oh. Ah. Uh, well. Ah. Uh. Listen, I'm fond of both of you. You know that. More than fond. And what I'm going to say to you, I don't want you to take as criticism. It's just a word of caution. Well, I right? think I already know what you're going to say. You're going to say that you think we're moving too fast. Well, something like that. If you care so much about each other, why can't you wait? You're still in high school. You don't want to get married. You're not even out of high school. And you're both bright and you have a wonderful future ahead of you. Why jeopardize it? How are we jeopardizing anything? We're still going to finish school. That's right. We've talked about it and we're ready to make this commitment now. And the commitment is the important thing, not whether we live together or not, or anything else like that. An engagement isn't a commitment? No. No, not when two people love each other the way that we do. I don't doubt the love you have for each other for one minute, but is that love strong enough that you can be engaged for a while and just wait? Well, excuse me, but it seems to me that the people who keep telling us that we're too young and that we should wait, and it's not going to last, are generally the same people whose marriages haven't lasted. And who is better to tell you something like that than people who have made mistakes? But that's them, Sophia, and we're us. And we would just like to be given the benefit of the doubt. That's all. Sophia, I'd like to ask you a big favor. Am I my own business? No, not that. But please, I'd appreciate it if you didn't say anything to Cece about this until we're ready to do something. Greg, he's going to have to know yeah, I know. eventually. And we're going to tell him. But if he hears about it right now, it's just going to cause a big argument and a lot of hard feelings that I just, just much rather postpone as long as possible, okay? He's still out, but I think he's all right. It's odd, though. He seems to prefer your side of the bed. Oh. oh, honey, I'm sorry. I've killed everything that you set up. Maybe not. Maybe there's a way to turn this to our advantage. Really? How? Well, if there were just a way that I could keep Tanel out of the picture for a week or so, I could do major dismantling of his entire business organization. By yourself? All in one week? Darling, remember, I was in introduced to the consortium as his successor. Now, if we just had some plausible explanation for Tanel's being away, I might be able to pers persuade those people to turn to me for guidance. No. No, 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 you can't do that. It's too dangerous. You don't want to get on the wrong side of these people. What if that man comes back here? What if he comes back here, starts poking around, then he brings a whole army and they well, start they, they, poking they, around? Then we spread the rumor that Tanel went to Serenus looking for Robert Barr. Right. You think they'll buy that? Well, why not? It's logical enough. Oh, he's back. You stop that. I'll handle this. Mr. Hi. Capwell, hi. How, how are you? I'm fine. I'm Linda Dillon from the Tribune. Oh, and I would uh, like to get your reaction to losing the race to uh, Ethan Asher. I by, did? Yeah, by a landslide. A landslide? Are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, then all I can say is, uh, vox populi. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's my baby. I'll take care of her. Uh, mm. I might add that I think uh, Mr. Asher will make a splendid district attorney, and I know that he'll take a hard line on drugs and uh, gang activities. Um, he's been a worthy opponent, and I'm sure he'll be an incumbent that we'll all be proud of. And as for me, I'll always be glad to assist him with the experience that I have gained during uh, two distinguished terms as Santa Barbara's district attorney. Thank you, Mr. Capwell. Certainly. A landslide. He woke up. I had to hit him again. Well, I hope you're not too worn out to help me change his clothes. What? I have an idea. I once handled a case against a psychiatric hospital just a few minutes down the coast. Now, this is one of those places that is so desperate they'll take anybody. Now, what if we could get Tanel admitted there under another name, of course? Now, that would get him out of circulation for a while, wouldn't it? You're going to put him in a clinic and then tell everybody that he's nuts? Right. And you and I are going to pose as next of kin. Do you know how many lawsuits we'll have? I have always preferred lawsuits to broken legs. You should be committed for coming up with this yes, idea. Yes, well, desperate times, desperate measures. You know how it goes. Yeah, I know. That's what I said when I married you. Come on. Ich bin gespannt, was Helena sagt, wenn sie erfährt, dass sie den Jeep genommen haben, ohne vorher zu fragen. Sie war einverstanden damit. Sie hat mir die Schlüssel in die Hand gedrückt. Das würde sie nie tun. Ich glaube Ihnen kein Wort. Dann fragen Sie sie doch. Es war ein Fehler, Sie hier einzustellen. Aber kein Fehler, der sich nicht wieder korrigieren lässt, Freundchen. Denn im Unterschied zu Helena falle ich nicht auf Sie rein. Na gut. 
Dann werde ich eben dafür sorgen, dass unsere Operationen nicht durch Sie gefährdet werden. Was haben Sie da im Koffer? Der Koffer gehört mir nicht. Hatte ich mir fast gedacht. So ein mieser Penner wie Sie hat nicht so einen schicken Koffer. Richtig, das Gepäck gehört einem Freund von mir, also lassen Sie es gefälligst stehen. Ah ja? Der Blonden? Wie, kennen Sie sie? Sie stecken unter einer Decke, hä? Ich verstehe nicht ganz, was Sie meinen. Wo ist sie jetzt? Wir haben diese Frau geschnappt. Jetzt ist sie bei Herr Lena im Büro. Worauf warten wir noch? Gehen wir. Okay. Gehen wir zu ihr. Vielleicht erfahren wir ja dann, wer sie wirklich sind. Los jetzt. Misunderstood the whole thing. Oh, I'm sure that's what you want me to think, but what I saw was not real hard to interpret. You've been such an idiot. Gina has been flirting with you for weeks now, and you've been flirting right back. It must be a lot of fun for you to have your own personal groupie, huh? I mean, from now on, I suppose there are going to be more Laura, and more. Oh, you are getting hysterical. Now, you're not even listening Thank to reason. Thank God that your father couldn't make it here tonight, because I would have died if he'd seen he, your what, first what, official what you, act. What are you talking about? He you heard make what it? I said. He wasn't on the plane. I don't know what happened to him, but I know what's happened to us. Nothing has happened to us, and nothing will happen to us unless you let it happen. What you saw, do you know what you saw when you opened the car door tonight? What? What you saw was a thank you and a goodbye. You saw a thank you for arranging the car, a thank oh. you for, for helping out with all the campaign things. I, I, it was a thank you for being stamped nice to the both, both of us. Laura, Laura, my commitment is to you. Ethan, you are a credit to your party and your profession, and I would like to shake your hand. Thank you. <laughs> I think uh, they want you to make a speech or something. Uh, would you mind just uh, telling them that uh, I'll no, be No, no, there. no. Go on. You don't want to let everybody down. Go ahead and make your speech. You're so good at that. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I, um, I, well, I, I take this vote as more than just a, a, a consensus of popularity, but rather I take tonight as a, um, well, uh, you know what I take tonight as it is uh, an opportunity for all of us to get together and celebrate and, uh, well, just relax after all the hard work for this campaign. And, uh, well, most of all, I want to, um, Thank my wife for uh, standing by me all this time. Thank you. Tom and I are at our, our wit's end. Daddy, he's a retired janitor, and... It's hard enough when he's at home and, and he's acting normal, but, you know, things are way out of hand. Way, way. Yeah, and he climbed up on the on the roof and he started talking to the angels. Right. And then he slipped in. Yeah, he his head. Right, his head right here. And we're really sick about it, and that's why we, we brought him here. He's had episodes like this before, then? Yeah. Well, not just episodes, whole installments. And they're seeming to come closer and closer together. A lot, now. yeah. And, oh, nurse, another thing, we got a baby at home, and, and we can't risk endangering her by granddad shenanigans. Well, there are more than that, Tim. Tom. Well, I, I don't know, rightly know what to call them. Um, spells. Spells, I yeah, guess. Spells. And we're just afraid that old granddad's mind is beginning to, you know... Snap, probably, snap. yeah. It happens in the best of families. I'm glad to say his vital signs are all good, though we can't tell for sure whether there's been any concussion until we run some tests. You can admit him for observation if you like. Oh, well, yeah, that, that would probably be uh -huh. a real good idea. If you'd spend some time looking at him, you'd see what we mean. Sissy, you know, that, that is a good idea. And, and, and maybe if they find out that granddad's mind, you know, isn't quite right, they mm. can <clears throat> keep him here and uh, help him, fix him up again. Uh, uh, where am I? Your uh, your daughter and son-in-law brought you to Whispering Pines huh? Clinic, Mr. Brown. You had a little fall. Huh? Hi, Daddy. You feeling better? That's not my daughter. That woman tried to kill me. Keep oh, her away from no, me. Oh, there he goes again. I know what you're up to, but you, by God, you're not going to get away. They let me out of here. I know what these people are up to. Look, listen, I'm, I'm a very wealthy man. I'm a very powerful man. Call my office. Call my secretary. Talk to her. Ah. See what we'll make. Yes, indeed. I'll give him a little something to relax him. 
I don't want anything, but I want the hell out of here. You lay back, Dad. You just take it easy. You're not going anywhere until you're feeling fit again. And we would never forgive ourselves if anything happened to you. <coughs> you stick that thing at me, I'll sue you for all you got. Oh, I... ah! poor woman, Mr. Brown. I don't have much. Just lie back. Damn you, you're gonna pay for this. That's right, Daddy. Sissy and I are gonna pay for everything. Now you just lay back, relax, have a good time. He has a tendency to wander off. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Mr. Brown will be confined to the clinic and very well monitored. Good. Good. Uh, what about phone calls? He's not allowed to make outgoing calls. He may receive calls from immediate family. I don't think you should call before late tomorrow morning. Oh, no, no, no we, 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 that'll be fine, really. Yes. And thank you. Thank you again so much. Nurse, you have helped us through a very, very difficult time. It's true. You have. Thank you so much. And God bless you. Bye. Bye. No, no, thanks. Look, I saw you and Laura arguing. The last thing in the world I wanted to do was cause you any trouble. When she opened the door in that limo, I thought I was going to die. It's not your fault. I feel responsible. The only thing I wanted to accomplish by sending the limo over to you was to leave you and Laura to your victory celebration. Yeah, I know that, but I'm the one who sent it. I came around and picked you up, didn't I? Look, I haven't always enjoyed the greatest reputation. The point is, this one time, I don't think I did anything to deserve all no, this. No, you, you certainly didn't. Look, I, I'll resolve it. Maybe I could talk to her. I could try to explain. No, no, this. no. Just, just let things be as they are. I, I'll settle it. Right. Look, if you need me, just call. I've got a deal. I'm sorry. Which, excuse me, Ethan. You have a telephone call. Sure. Excuse me. <clears throat> Hello. What? Where? Yeah, I'll be right there. Right there, just a second. Ethan, what's wrong? Uh, look, we, we, would you talk to one of my staff? Tell them I'm going to be gone for at least an hour. Uh, I'm not sure I'll be back tonight. Ethan? Certainly is best to visit. Thank you. Yeah, but I sort of feel like I'm in the enemy camp here. You know, I supported Mason through this whole thing. I know you did. But, well, maybe next time. Listen, I'm thinking about something. I've got to tell you the conversation with you and Emily earlier, I really had no right to say those things. I mean, I'm not related to either of you, and I guess I just forget myself sometimes. I'm so used to mothering that I try to mother everybody. It's okay. It's really nice to know that you care enough about us to care. Well, I do, and I know that you're very serious about this thing, and whether I agree with you or not, I want you to know I respect your decision. But I think it's something that you better talk over with your father. Talk over about what? Uh, what what we'll have to learn about now, hmm? How long do you plan on keeping me here? I haven't done anything wrong. Oh, uh, but that's not quite true. You see, you uh, trespassed on company property. Well, I wasn't trespassing to me. All the property looks the same out there. That's how I got lost. There are signs, there are warnings. None that I saw. <clears throat> There you are. Where have you been? Where have I been? If you'd let me take you back to that train stop, you never would have gotten lost. Never mind that. I'm waiting for some answers. What's the connection between the two of you? He's my husband. I'm Candy. You two are married? I'm so sorry. Don't be mad. I didn't mean to run away. I, I'm just down here because I'm so crazy about you. Please don't be mad. you've been here, you've managed to cause me more trouble than you can possibly imagine. Well, I had to tell him something, okay? And I thought it was pretty good thinking on my part. You know, they were going to torture me. Yeah, well, they should have. Here, clean yourself up. Why'd you tell him we were married? The dragon lady seemed to buy it. She may not like it very much, but it's better she thinks that we're quarreling lovers than corporate spies. 
Would you have rather me told her that you're Robert Barr and you own this godforsaken place? Well, you never showed up here in the first place. Well, I did show up, and I'm not leaving, so make the best of it. Why can't you get it through your thick skull that this place is dangerous? The mere fact that you are here is putting us both at great risk. Don't blame me, okay? If it wasn't for that stupid Oppa Lover's foundation of yours, I would be safe in Santa Barbara. I am not leaving here as long as you're here. You are not going to pull another one over. This is not about you. It is about things that have weight and substance that you should not even be questioning. Will you just stop, okay? Can we just let it rest for tonight? I'm really sick of arguing and I'm really sick of people shouting at me. I can barely think. I almost died out there in that jungle. Yeah, that thought occurred to me, too. Yeah, but you wouldn't have cared. I do. Okay, now. Where can I sleep? Where can you sleep? Well, since you've made yourself my wife, don't you think it would be appropriate for you to take your proper place in my bed, beloved? Oh, my God, Laura, are you all right? I didn't mean for you to hear about this time. Yeah, no, no, I called from the emergency room. I went over there, but you were already gone. I wasn't hurt that badly. The car's a real mess, though. What happened? I hit a parking meter. I had no idea those things could cause so much damage. Forget about the car. Cars can be fixed. Just so long as you're all right. I'm not. I feel terrible about the way I behaved. When I left the lair, all I could think about was that... Uh, love me anymore that you'd never really forgiven me and that you were punishing me now by having an affair in your room how could you believe that I don't operate that way Laura you're my wife you're the only thing I care about in this world you've got to believe that I want to I want to so badly Gotcha, all right. So, where does it hurt? I I just have a little headache, that's about it. I, I was wearing my seatbelt. What did it feel? You shouldn't be here. You, uh, you should be at your victory celebration. Well, I told him I'd be uh, an hour late at least, and... Uh, Besides which, I already uh, did my duty. I gave my acceptance speech. I, uh, I promptly forgot everything I was supposed to say. <laughs> but I, uh, I thank them for their uh, support. Most of all, I, I thank my wife for standing by me. And I hope she always will. But if you could see One thing I really wanted to tell you is that um, I'm going to have to limit my responsibilities with Capo and Son for a long time. Until I'm finished with school, at least. Oh, come on, Greg. I understand that. I expect it. I mean, you're not much good to me without an education. I expect you to come in as prepared as possible because i got big things in mind for you. Thanks. Um, will you guys excuse me? I'm going to go find Emily. Where is she? I don't know. She's over there. Oh. Um, I'll be back in the while. I saw you talking with your father. Is everything all right? No, everything is lousy. I just stood there and lied to him. I see he trusts me. He definitely trusts me with so much already. Oh, we got to tell him tonight that we're going to get married. We have to. Are you sure that now is the right time? You know he's not going to like it. I'm not so sure it was a good idea to come here. I've already explained to you that it's essential. If anyone wonders where we were the night that Tanel disappeared, we have an ironclad alibi. I have come here to my opponent's doorstep to be gracious in the face of defeat. To do that, I'm going to need some punch. That's just what you mean, make him a little more punch. How would you like a nice little punch? Well, you've got enough assault and battery for one day, don't you? Hello, Sophia. Hey. Dad. Oh. 
Well, hello, Andrew Sprite. Good to see the two of you here. Well, not to have come would have been unsportsmanlike. Uh -huh. You still feel sportsmanlike after the beating you took at the polls? Oh, I've learned to take beatings all my life, Dad. That's how I've survived this long. All in all, it's been a worthwhile experience, I think. Well, we should go over and congratulate Ethan, and actually there's somebody over there signaling for you to uh, interview. Mm -hmm. Dad, hmm. there's something really important I have to tell you. No, I don't think not now. Great, not now. Not now what? What do you mean? Emily and I have decided to get married. We had our blood test done today. You did what? watch a little television before lights out when i get out of here i'm gonna put your lights out i'll have you bronzed and cemented and dropped out the brooklyn bridge I'm... well that would be very nice i've never been to brooklyn see you in a little while <coughs> the final results of tonight's election are in and ethan asher has won over mason capwell by a landslide Capwell himself, to everyone's surprise, showed up at Asher's celebration party and is talking to the president. All I can say is one of the two best men has won, and I wish Mr. Asher every success in his forthcoming term. Lord knows this town has plenty of crime that needs to be eliminated. Crime? I'll show you crime! So help me, I'll... Uh, I'll make you regret this for the rest of your life, Capwell! Nurse! Nurse! Get me the hell out of here!